Claims filed under auto insurance policies follow normal distribution with mean this and standard deviation 5,000. Find the probability that the average of 25 randomly selected claims exceeds 20,000. So we are talking about what happens to the average. So by central limit theorem, if uh, mu and uh, sigma are the mean and standard deviation of each of the n identical normal variables, then the mean and standard deviation of their average is um, mu x bar, and that's the same as the individual means, which was 19,400 for each. Standard deviation for the average is uh, the standard deviation of each divided by square root of the sample size. So in this case, it would be 5,000 divided by square root 25 because the sample was 25. So remember in the previous problem, um, we were still using central limit theorem, even though the um, individual variables were not given to be normal, but there the sample size was um, greater than 30. And in that case, the sum or the average distribution is normal even if the original one is not. But here the sample size is less than 30. So here then uh, we had to know that uh, the individual variables were normal, which uh, they are, as they say, claims file follow normal distribution because otherwise we could not uh, use the central limit theorem. So basically you either need the sample size to be bigger than 30 or you need the uh, uh, given variable to be normal. In this case, the given variable is normal. So once we have the mean, the standard deviation for the means, then uh, we'll calculate the z-score uh, based on that. So we are interested in the mean being greater than 20,000. So uh, 20,000 minus the 19,400 divided by standard deviation and that comes out to be 0.6. So therefore the probability of the average being greater than 20,000 is probability of Z being greater than 0.6 and we convert it into less than in order to be able to use the table. One minus P, Z is less than or equal to 0.6. And from the table, we see that um, um, 0.6 gives us um, 0.7257. So uh, we go back. So 1 minus 0.7257. So that is 0.27, which is choice C.